You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he says no more dentures. With us, we have oral surgeon Dr. Miller. Dr. Miller, welcome to the program. Thank you very much, Randy. I'm, I'm uh, very pleased to be here. Now, I know you brought a lot of photos. I so did. So we will make sure you have time to show some of them. Thank you. Uh, but for people that don't know your practice, uh, who's your typical patient and what are the different services you offer? Well, as you said, I'm an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. And, you know, one of the uh, great services that we're able to provide is general anesthesia because we have the training. So you can go to sleep and you can wake up and you don't know anything about what went on. So you walk in without teeth on the day of the procedure. I think you told me this. Yes. And you walk out with teeth. You do. Absolutely. The same is day. Is that right? Fixed in your mouth. They're not coming in and out like dentures. Another thing that we do is removal of teeth. You know, we take out teeth. That's, that's one of our, our things. If you have a cyst or a tumor in your jaws, you would come to us, we would, we would remove that. If you had an accident and you broke your jaw, then we're gonna be the ones you come to to fix that. But the best thing that we do, my most favorite thing that we do in the practice is dental implants. So if you're missing teeth, we use those to replace the missing teeth. So, you know, somebody may be missing one tooth uh, and we replace those with dental implants. Maybe they're missing three, four teeth. Maybe they're missing all their teeth or maybe they're getting ready to have to have all their teeth removed and they don't want to be in a denture. I mean, really, who wants to be in a denture? The other uh, group that we see are people who maybe don't have a dentist, but they've had, they've had dentures for years, and you know, they're, they just don't like having dentures. They want something fixed in their mouth, and we're able to provide that doing this teeth in a day procedure. Okay, so I understand this correctly. You call it an all-on-four on your website. So four implants, they get a full arch of teeth that what, snap in or snap out, or they... Just no, they're fixed. These are fixed to the implants. Uh, we're fixed to the bone, and they're permanently fixed. So there's nothing that snaps in and out. There's nothing that you have to, you know, to worry about soaking at night and putting back in in the day, or that kind of thing. These are these are permanent teeth. So are there a lot of people wearing dentures where you are, or about to lose their teeth where you are? Absolutely, Randy. We're unfortunately ranked number six in the nation for the number of people who are missing teeth. And so if we look at the Oklahoma City uh, metro area, the people that are wearing dentures or about to wear dentures, it's a huge number. My wife and I, we're big sports fans. We love to go watch the Oklahoma City Thunder basketball play. They play in Chesapeake Arena downtown, and if you were to gather up all those people we're talking about and try to stuff them in the arena, it would be impossible. You, you could fill up that arena 10 times or more with the number of people that this procedure could help. Is that right? Absolutely. Now, if it's so good to, I guess, you know, replace your missing teeth with dental implants or take the denture wear and give them something that's fixed in their mouth, a full arch of teeth, why aren't they all doing it? I mean, what's your take? Well, I think that's kind of a complicated uh, answer, and I'll, I'll try to do my best. All right. You know, uh, there are that group of people who are, are denture wearers already. And, you know, some people feel like once they're in dentures, they don't need to see the dentist anymore. And so that group kind of falls out of the, off the wayside and they don't know, you know, what's available. Their options. There. They have no Good idea. Good point. What those so they don't go to the are. dentist. They don't. And, you know, they've gone through years of pain and infection and may have started off, they had a, a filling and then they had a crown and then, you know, they had a root canal and then the teeth got loose and then they had to be removed. And they're kind of just glad to be done with Dentistry. So and the last thing they want to do is go. See last you. thing they want to especially do, especially an back. oral surgeon, right? Everybody's afraid of you guys. Well, you know you're in be. trouble when you're at the oral well, surgeon. Well, that's true. Sometimes you know that's we're the dentist of last resort, but we're also somebody that can get you back to a healthy smile. Do you still hear that, by the way, where people say, "No offense, doctor," oh, but I don't gosh. like. Absolutely, all the time. Hey, doc, I don't want to offend you, but I I, I hate to go to the dentist. And, you know, that's, that's the way people feel, unfortunately, when they've had okay. multiple bad experiences with dentistry. Now, you know, people need to know it's a real interview. I'm not endorsing you on this show, but I did go to your website, and there's a bunch of videos, and I was clicking on the videos, and right. these people like it. I mean, they love it. They love their new teeth, absolutely. And I would encourage anybody, you know, to check that out. Another reason they don't come in is because they tend to self-diagnose. They, 
they think they're too old for dental implants or you know their dentures have been so loose for so many years they think they don't have enough bone for dental implants or unfortunately maybe they've been to another office and the office has told them you don't have enough bone to do this procedure. Well, isn't it true though if you've been in dentures like 30 years you can't do this or, or you don't have enough bone. No, that's not to get true a fixed at all. set of teeth. For this procedure it, you it's very very rare that we would ever see anyone without enough bone. That's that so this, you this was designed for people that don't have any bone. So th so that's not an issue. It's not an issue. Okay, then what about pain? It does seem painful. It's surprisingly how non-painful this is. You know, the nice thing is they're going to go to sleep for this procedure. So they're getting IV sedation? Yes. Okay. We're using general anesthesia. So the okay. patient actually goes to sleep. They know nothing that went on during the procedure. They wake up and we're done. And so there's not really... They don't remember it? They No, they don't remember it. And we use the local anesthetic when they were asleep. So they wake up and they're numb. They, they don't feel any pain. All right. And we also go ahead and start them on uh, an oral pain medicine while they're in the office so that later on, if that numbness wears off, they're still going to be comfortable. So now we're done with the procedure. They wake up and the family comes in. They get a mirror. They get to see their new smile for the first time. And, and it's a, just really an emotional experience, Randy. I mean, the patient cries oftentimes, the family cries, and, and we tear up at the same time because we, you know, we just love doing this. It changes people's lives, and it literally transforms people's lives with this procedure. And Randy, I, I had one patient that literally, you know, she did not believe that this was going to be possible, even though we've told her everything that's going to happen. And so, you know, she, she went to sleep. We did all that stuff we needed to do. She wakes up. We give her a mirror. And you should have seen her smile. It was terrific. And this is someone who, who was so self-conscious about her smile. I mean, she never smiled. You know, we take pictures initially. I couldn't get her to smile in the picture. Now you can't keep her from smiling. I mean, she smiles all the time. And, you know, it goes from somebody who looks extremely unhappy. And she wasn't, wasn't necessarily unhappy, but she did not like the way her teeth looked to someone who looks happy all the time because she can't quit smiling because she's so happy that she has these beautiful teeth. Now at the top of the show, I said, you say no more dentures. Is that your feeling? I mean, nobody should be wearing traditional dentures if they have to? I feel like no one should have to wear dentures at this stage. I mean, this is really, you know, we talk about maybe the treatment of the future. Really, this is a treatment of the present. I mean, this is available right now. No one should have to go with dentures. Because they're not attached to anything. That's oh, the dentures, problem. No, obviously. they float around, they're loose, they cause sores in the mouth. People, honestly, typically a lot of people do not wear their dentures. When, Is that right? Oh, yeah. When we see the, them for the first time for their consultation, and I ask, well, let's, let's see your dentures. If it's a guy, what I see, he's going to reach in his pocket and he's going to pull out his denture. And if it's a, a lady, she's going to open her purse and she's going to pull out a big wad of Kleenex and open the Kleenex. And that's where she keeps her dentures because she can't wear them or he can't wear them. And it's just miserable. So how old can you be at the upper range to get this the, done? The upper range, honestly, there is no upper range. My oldest patient is in her 90s. Is that right? Yes. Why would a 90-year-old want to do this? Why wouldn't a 90-year-old want to do this? I mean, let me tell you about what I hear the life of a, of a denture wearer. Okay. I mean, I've, I've been in this business for a long time. I hear lots of stories. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you kind of in the place of a denture wearer. So you're going out to the restaurant. You're going out to eat with your friends. And, you know, they're all looking at the menu and finding something that looks delicious. Do you know what you're doing? What's that? You're browsing through there trying to figure out what am I going to be able to eat with my loose dentures and wow. not make a scene in front of my friends. So they tell you this on the consult. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, and think about when you're finished eating and now you've got food particles up underneath your denture and you've got to go to the bathroom to clean this out. 
and you've got to figure out how to time that. So, <laughs> wow. so the rest of your laugh. friends aren't coming I don't mean in to laugh, there. But it's very interesting. You know, you, you don't want your friends coming in and seeing you with your teeth in the sink, washing them out. I mean, that's just embarrassing. So there's just lots of things. So it's very common. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, to try to keep those loose dentures in, uh, people end up spending a lot of money on adhesives. And I don't know if you've ever seen any of that stuff, but it, it's real goopy stuff that you have to put in inside the denture and, and try to hold those dentures in. And honestly, it, it doesn't work. And when you try to take that stuff out of the denture, it's extremely hard to clean out. It clings to your gums. It's hard to clean out of your mouth. It's just nasty stuff. I mean, who wants to put up with that for the rest of their life? You could even use their existing denture and just latch them on or no? You know, if they have a great denture already, then we can use their denture. But what we'll find is a lot of these dentures have worn down so much that, you know, if we put those in place, they're probably still not going to be happy with the way they smile. So okay. we want to actually go back, take a step back, and make something that's ideal for their face, ideal for their mouth. You know, we want the proper aesthetics. We want a, a great look. We want a great smile. So you can't tell it's like a fake teeth. That's right. You can't tell. Is that right? There's no way. I mean, you, you walking down the street, you and I walking down the street, you would not be able to Well, I to feel tell. like I could spot a denture. I don't think so, Randy. Not on these. Not, not on these folks. Okay. All right. Absolutely. You brought photos. I did. Let's take a look at some of those. Okay. So we take a look at that picture. You look at that before picture. You know, Terry's 68. He's had terrible teeth, and he's been told he has to have his teeth out. And so, you know, he has a choice then between, you know, wearing a denture for the rest of his life or having teeth that are fixed in his mouth. So, you know, we get him, we can get him back to a healthy, healthy teeth, healthy smile, you know, restore self-confidence that he probably hasn't had for many years. So what we did for him is we, you know, Terry, he went to sleep, he woke up, he had these great new teeth. Look at the difference between the before and the after. Yeah, he looks I mean, much different, by the looks way. Looks much different. I mean, you know, difference is night and day. I mean, and he's not uncomfortable anymore, and he doesn't have bleeding gums, and he doesn't have bad breath, and he doesn't have all the other things that went along with those teeth. So what can he eat? And can how he, soon can he eat? You can eat the same day. We are going to put you on a, a soft diet for a very short time, but after that, you can eat anything you want. You know, he can bite into a big juicy steak. He can eat corn on the cob. What about like he, an apple with oh, your front teeth? A, yeah, absolutely. He really? can take a bite out of an apple. Anything you could do with normal healthy teeth, he can do. You describe it as like a, a third set of teeth. Well, it, it really is, Randy, because you have, you know, the baby teeth. You lose those, and you have a second set, which are your permanent teeth. And unfortunately, some people lose those as well. So this is kind of like a third set of teeth. And one day, his life was transformed. You know, and we see this every day with all our patients. I mean, it makes such an incredible impact on their lives. Very nice. So let me show you okay. another one here. So if you, if you look at his before picture, you know, he has a few teeth left and they had to come out. You see that smile, you don't see any teeth at all. So what we did was we gave him four implants up top, we gave him four implants on the bottom, all the teeth are out, and now he has a full set of teeth, new teeth, top and bottom. And, and look at that smile. <laughs> yeah, that, it looks, that yeah. is great. And you notice, I mean, all, everything that we do is, is custom designed you know, for that person. So the teeth that we would give him is not the teeth that we would give you know, the patient before. So it's all custom designed for their face, their smile. He has a great smile now. He, he really has, has changed his life. And you can imagine how people perceived him before yeah. And, and now how they perceive him after. And here's another patient. All right. If we look at her before, I mean, a, a quote from her really is, my mouth was a mess and I was missing so many teeth and I was unhappy with my smile and I knew it was time to do something about it. And so she came in, we took the remaining teeth out. We've got a brand new set of teeth and she is ecstatic. She says, these look like my teeth used to look like years ago, only better. 
If you look at her picture now, she's got a great smile. She's happy about the way she looks. She's happy about the way she can eat. She's just totally changed. I mean, she just feels so much younger. She looks younger. And so, you know, she did, this is another lady that didn't have a dentist that saw what we were doing and said, hey, I think that's for me. And she's happy that she made that choice. Yeah, because people know you. I guess you have some billboards. I mean, people know we you do. as the people that give fixed sets of teeth in the same day. We do. Is that correct? That is correct. And you say people travel, I guess, like an hour away, two hours away to see you to get this done? They do, Randy. E even further than that, you know, we, we have a good reputation. People see what we're doing. People talk to their friends. They said, I had this done here, and you should go check it out. Now, you're a specialist. You're I an am. oral surgeon. Yes. And I guess uh, any dentist can do this, right? Do you have a bias? Because I know you work with all the general dentists, I do. right? And I you're do. a big fan. You said, I don't want to say anything negative about anybody here. Absolutely. But the truth of the matter is, secretly, do you think, you know, if you're going to get dental implants, the surgical part, you should have an oral surgeon involved? I think it doesn't hurt to have a specialist involved in that. Absolutely. Okay. Does it cost more to go to a specialist, to go to an oral surgeon? No, it doesn't. And we're the same, same price. I mean, essentially, everybody has, you know, variations in price, but it's not any more expensive to go to a specialist, and with that, you get the experience that you you may not get elsewhere. Is it true, by the way, if there are problems elsewhere, they end up in, in your lap anyway, right? I mean, the oral surgeon is the guy that has to fix things. That's Is that true? That's true. I mean, if there's okay. a, a, a problem with anything, they're going to come back to us. That's true. Randy, do I have time for a yes, few more yes. photos? Okay. You can see this gentleman. He's 44, so he's young. But his teeth are crumbling. He has he has some decay, uh, you know, and he, he just he he isn't able to chew comfortably with his teeth, and knows that it's it's time to do something else. So he was going to have to have dentures. He probably? would have had to have dentures, absolutely. But look what we've been able to do. We've been able to put implants in. We've been able to put fixed teeth in there. He doesn't have to take them in out, out at night. They don't soak in a jar, you know, on the on the nightstand at night. Those are his teeth now. He obviously looks much younger. It's probably been hard for him to smile. Now, you know, he can. He can smile with confidence. So a big guy like this, I mean, they could eat ribs or they could eat whatever they want, right? Whatever they want to eat, Randy. And then what's the maintenance? They just come in, they, they go to the dentist? They still have to come in, you know, every six months and we'll, you know, assess everything. It, they have to show us that they're able to clean around everything. Uh, they, once a year, we'll take an x-ray and make sure that everything looks good. So it's, it's just basic like being back in the dental system again. I mean, it's, you go to, go to the dentist every six months. And he was thrilled you know, with his results. And I, it brings to mind a, another patient. And, and this is a patient older than that. And she had worn an upper denture. And she had a burning with the denture. Whenever her mouth was so dry that when she put the denture in, she couldn't stand wearing it. But she didn't want anybody to see her without her teeth. I mean, literally, when her daughter or son would knock on the door to the house, she'd have to say, wait a minute, and she'd have to go put her teeth in so she could come answer the door. And she didn't like the way the denture fit across the roof of her mouth. She hated that. And now she has a wonderful set of new teeth. Nothing goes across the roof of her mouth. She doesn't have to take anything in and out, that burning sensation is gone, and she's happy with life again. So in one day, so she walks in with no teeth on the upper, walks out on the same day. On the same day with teeth. With a full arch of teeth. With a full set of teeth, absolutely. And pain is not something they're really complaining about too much. No, I think she took an ibuprofen the next day. Is that, and that right? Was it. This is not a painful procedure. So let me show you, next patient. This gentleman was plagued with a very dry mouth. And one of the things that saliva does for us is it buffers the acid that the bacteria produces. You know, so besides your brushing and flossing, you got to have a good salivary flow. And he didn't. And so his teeth were literally just getting eaten up. And he, he, he couldn't control it. And, it, you know, he said, my teeth are falling apart. I knew I had to have something done to them. So what we did is we gave him a, a full set of teeth locked into his mouth on dental implants. And 
look at him smile now. And, and those I think look that's real. It. I mean, those look. I mean, that upper, they look absolutely real. That does look real. All these are going to look real. You're not going to be able to say, hey, I think those are false teeth because that's not what they look like. We're going to take a quick break. We come back. More about the process. What happens on day one? You're watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. Well, I chose this procedure. My teeth was all getting bad. I decided just to have them all taken out. As far as pain, I didn't have hardly any pain. And the care was real excellent. And I can eat about anything I want to. I had my teeth in the day procedure done. What I like most about it is that I don't have to take them out anymore. Uh, they feel very comfortable. They look as close to real teeth as I possibly could have. I decided to do the teeth in a day because my original teeth were in really bad condition. I love them. They feel good. I believe they look good. They look like real teeth and uh, I wouldn't change anything. I can eat things I haven't eaten in years. In fact, the day I got my final set in, I had corn on the cob and I didn't have to cut it off the cob. I could actually eat it. I have also eaten an apple. And I want everybody to know that I did not have any pain with the procedure. Pain is what I had before the procedure. They look like my old teeth, but much better than they ever did. And it was easy to eat with them. I was a little worried about that. Um, and I got lots of compliments. They look very natural. I was surprised that there was no pain. I thought they would be. You're watching The Wellness Hour, uh, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. Uh, our guest oral surgeon, Dr. Miller, says no more dentures. In one day, you go in without teeth on the day of the procedure, you walk out with a full set of teeth that don't come in or out. So that's true. That is absolutely true. In the true. same day. Are in people skeptical, day. by the way? Like they say, can this really be done? Sometimes they are, but then we can show them you know, so many people that have done this before and they get to listen to, you know, their testimonials if they have doubts. And so, you know, they can, there's still some doubt, I think, probably when I go to sleep, what's this going to be like when I wake up? But let me show you this next patient. And All right. So this gentleman actually had an accident where a horse kicked him in the face. Wow. And so he lost some teeth and most of his other teeth were loose. And he knew that you know, he couldn't couldn't go on like that. So his choices were, you know, have my teeth out and have dentures, or go to the teeth in a day process. Doctor Miller, and, right? Right. Yeah. And so he, you know, obviously he chose the teeth in a day process, and he's ecstatic about it. Now, he's an entertainer, and I don't think that you know he would want to have to function say his lines, do all those things, with it, worrying about a denture falling out. He does not have to worry about anything because these are, again, a full set of teeth fixed to dental implants. They don't go in and out. And, and he can eat anything he wants to eat. Finally, I have one more, Randy. All right. Hopefully we have time to, to get to this. this. This is a young girl. I mean, she's early 40s. And she's extremely self-conscious about her smile and she has painful teeth and her complaint is I, I can't eat and and she's not smiling she's not confident she goes to sleep she wakes up she has new teeth <laughs> and you make it sound easy by the way that's well, why it I is easy it is good for it's, you it's easy man and we you know we did a couple other things uh, so you know she looks like she has an extreme makeover here well, you know, we did a little Botox, we did a little filler uh, to take care of some other issues, but she uh, told me, she says, I had a friend that I, I hadn't seen in a long time, and she just couldn't believe what a change this was. I mean... You know, look, going into this, and I, and I told you in the green room, I mean, you know, I always think you guys are exaggerating about how it could really change your looks and your life. But this, is, you can see, is life changing. It is. For certain people. So and, good. And, you know, she doesn't even want to see that old picture anymore. Now, you're a fa we should mention, you, you did a fellowship, a lot of training in facial plastic surgery. I did. How does that help you doing what you're doing here? Well, it helps us know when whatever we do underneath the face, how that's going to affect the face. You know, are we, and some people, they've had their teeth worn down. 
So their face shortens up, they get wrinkles down in here, and it makes them look so much older. And now we're gonna be able to restore the teeth uh, and to their original position, put the bone in its original position, and it has a lot of effects on the way you look. And that's just part of the deal. And I think by having that training, I'm a little bit uh, better able to understand, you know, what things are gonna look like after the surgery. We are out of time. Final message though, somebody watching this and for the denture wear, what are their options? As far as amount of dental implants, uh, maybe from the basic to the best thing you can do. Well, I think a basic would be two dental implants. You know, one on, in each eye tooth area, and they're gonna have a denture that essentially snaps in. And so there is a better stability, but it's still a denture. And they still get things underneath their dentures and they still have to take them out and clean them. And it's, it is a, it's better than a regular denture, but it, it doesn't compare to this. So for two more implants, we can put in a permanent set of teeth that are fixed in place that don't have to come in out and don't have to soak in the jar at night. And it's just, it's difference between night and day. So that's the way to go. That is absolutely the way to go. But now for the upper, aren't, isn't there enough suction for the upper where the uppers are fine? I mean, why get dental implants if it, with, with that scenario? Well, you would think that's the case, but most of the people that come in to see me are having to put the goop to hold it in. That goes across the roof of their mouth. They can't tell the temperature of their food, the texture of their food. It's, it's awful. And with the teeth in a day procedure, the roof of the mouth is completely uncovered. They get to taste their food again. Okay. It's, it's just a whole different So thing. for consultation, somebody watching this, and I know you work with, I guess, all the general dentists. Yes. In town, but they could go to you directly, get a consultation, Absolutely. tell them their options. Yes. When they come to us, you know, we have a, a CAT scan in our office, so we can get a three-dimensional image of their jaw. We can actually do the surgery on the computer and tell them immediately if they're a candidate for this procedure. And we do a courtesy consultation. So That's they're nice. going to spend time with me. We're going to get a dental image, and there's no charge. So there's really there's nothing to hold them back from you know, coming in and finding out. So at least get in available. there and find out. Absolutely. Okay, good. We're out of time. I want to thank you for coming on the show. And they can go to your website, learn more. Absolutely. You have a bunch of test, patient testimonials. Patient testimonials, photographs. Absolutely. Well, good. All right. Thanks thank for, you. Thanks for coming on the show. I appreciate it very much. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.